complete the square of the binomial expression. I want to remind you that a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared. So this is something that we've seen in class. You may want to expand it and you're going to get this. So to complete the square, I need to have a trinomial that has this form. So here's an example, y squared plus 14y, okay? So I have the first two terms of the trinomial. I need to add b squared, okay? So first I need to know what, what b is. Uh, if you notice, the middle term has b in this, but also it has 2a. But a is none other than the variable you have here squared. So in this case, this would be a squared. So that means a is equal to y. Okay. And then the middle term, this one would be a as well. So what do we have left? The number here, 14, is none other than 2b. So in order to find b, you always look at the middle term. B is always half whatever the coefficient here. So B is half of 14. That means 14 divided by 2 is none other than 7. Okay, I just found my B. Now, in order to complete the square, I don't need to add B. I need to add B square. So then you're going to have to add B square. That means 7 square. You may want to write 49 directly, but I'm just going to use this for this example as 7 squared. By adding 7 squared, I just complete the square. So now I have A and B. I can complete the square. So let's take a look. A is Y plus, plus the sign here is always the sign of whatever you have here. So plus b is what b is seven and we already have a square we just completed the square i wanted to give you another example with uh, with the middle term being negative it would be exactly the same but with, with well except the sign in the of the middle term so you have a square minus two a b plus b square equal to a the sign of the middle term is negative so this would be minus b square so doing what we did here a is the variable in here so that's x and b is half of the coefficient i have here you can if you want take the sign but you don't really have to because i know that it's going to be negative in here so you can take the b, b as half of the number itself so half of 10 and that give me 5 okay now i need to add b square so b square is 5 square you may want to write 25 i can write 25 here or you can write 5 square either one is correct and then I just completed the square. A, which is x minus, the middle term is negative, b, which is 5, and that's square. We just completed the square.